This video is not sponsored. Okay? Okay. It's not. Hello everybody, this is Samuel Hunkinen or Fun Time Universe, and welcome to a review on the Mushroom Island Lego Minecraft set. Set number 21129. It is ages 8 and up, and it has 247 pieces, not including additional extra pieces. So, let's get into it. So, before we get into this, I want to tell you, I made a time-lapse video of me building this set on my other channel, Funtime Universe, yesterday. And I talked about how I'd be making a review on it, so go check that video out. It is a little bit bad quality because it's my first time trying to do a time-lapse, but hey, I only will get better from there on. At least we know I can't get any worse. So... In this review, I want to tell you guys about one thing. Well, more than one thing. It's, I think it's a little bit too modular, because this thing does not like to stay together very much at all. It's almost impossible to carry it around without one of the attachments, without one of the modules coming off. And a pe pieces that I was really excited about getting was this new Lego Minecraft compass piece. And, um, this one is kind of silly, but I didn't have any. Um, an inverted 2x2 two two round, um, tile in trans blue. Which is nice. It's very nice. And plus, I got another Alex, another Creeper, got two more Moose Rooms. One is a baby one, so it's a little bit cute. But... I'm a little upset that this set isn't game accurate, so there, that, that makes it more accurate. I just used the moose room from the crafting box, it has some cracks in the studs and it's a little bit dusty. Hey, but it's been sitting for like two years. I mean, it has to be used sometime, but I guess a creeper is nice. I think they have to include something in the set. But, uh, I, I, I just like my things game accurate. That's why I'm upset that the Mountain Cave set, the new one, comes with Diamond Ore, and also comes with Lapis and Redstone, when it should only just come with Emerald Ore. Because, if you don't know, Emeralds spawn in Extreme Hills biome more often than other biomes. And another thing I'm upset about about this set is it doesn't come with shovels. Like, my custom boat, uh, that is from a long time ago, it's I, it's not even fully together anymore. It didn't have shovels, because I only had one shovel. It just had, like, two bars sticking out the side. And it could fit three things on it, but it looked more like a Minecraft boat. Because it was, like, real lawn and... It had the thing sticking out the side, so it was nice. So, yeah, uh, I should just get some shovels. Here's one. Where is my other one? I, I don't know. There we go. This looks better. So the figures slash mobs that come with this set are Alex, the Creeper. I don't know why I call it the Creeper. Well, on the box it says Creeper TM, so that's a little bit weird. And it comes with a mushroom and a baby mushroom. Uh, like I said, it's a mu it's a mushroom island, so let's be a little bit more accurate here. There we go. But yeah, I, I just don't like the fact that it's not game accurate. I'm just picky. I that that's just all I can say. This is the first module that you end up building, and it's pretty nice. It has a tiny little farm with only a single water source, has two um, plants growing, one of them is wheat, and it has this big red mushroom, which I didn't know how I was going to do it at first. Like, when I first looked at the set, I was like, those spots are in such random places, and it turns out they're not. It's, it's just a consistent pattern, which there are a lot of in the set. There's a lot of repeated stuff. If you saw my time-lapse and were paying attention, 
to the video and not just my voice you might have known so yeah moving on so this is the second module that you end up building and it's cool because um if you like put the creeper in the pen and maybe i don't know and then there's a tiny little action feature it's the only action feature in the set you push down on that and boom the wall goes flying off which is kind of nice um but man, it's it's okay it, that's that's what, what i'll say about it. it it's okay and the final module is this one this really boring one all that's interesting about it are these two mushrooms on the end um yeah this module pretty basic pretty easy to build um, might not even need instructions for that one. Um, and then, well, we have these 2 by 4 bricks with jumper plates on top to, to connect them all up together. We get four of those in the set. They're actually the, one of the first things they tell you to build. And by they, I mean the instruction manual. And we can just put it together however we want like say we might want this one right there i just realized this isn't really in a good camera view right now yeah let's let's try this we'll put this like that this like that we will put this like that and this, squeeze it in somehow, like that, and we got a, a full new model. So instead of having the creeper in the pen, we can have the creeper right outside the pen on the 2x4 bricks. Make more room for the mushrooms, including the original mushroom. Let's make a mushroom stack here. Perfect. For accessories with this set, we get a boat, which is nice. We get a new Minecraft compass piece, which is really nice. I really like that. It comes with an extra one. So I recommend getting the set for that, and for the mushrooms, of course. And we get a crafting table. Pretty pretty normal, pretty basic. And we get a diamond pickaxe. Uh, I'm getting sick of diamond pickaxes. I know at first... With Lego Minecraft, diamond pickaxes were rare, but now they're just boring because they're in, like, almost every set because people wanted them because they were rare. And I just, I only have one iron pickaxe. I want to get more of that, or even a stone pickaxe, maybe, if they even make that. <laughs> I, I don't know. But there we go. That was the Lego Minecraft The Mushroom Island set. It's a really nice set. And, ha, what was I going to say about it? I had one more thing to say. I think I have to actually pause to think about what I was going to say. Oh, yes. Yes, the price-to-part ratio on this set is surprisingly really, really good. This set only costed $19.47 for me from where I got it. And uh, I am not sponsored by the place of where I got it. Just telling you guys that. But, yeah, it's nice. I just really think it's nice. Because, um, 247 pieces for a little less than than $20. So, yeah, that's really nice. I don't know what it costs in other countries where the currency is different. But, I like the price here. It has a great price to par part ratio. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys all enjoyed this review video on the Lego Minecraft The Mushroom Island set. And if you want to see more reviews like this, then just drop a like, because it lets me know that you support my channel and my content. And before you leave, put a comment in the comment section down below. They really mean a lot to me. Put one on something that I should teach you guys how to build next, because... As some of you might know, I do a how to build series and I need ideas for what I can teach you how to build. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!